Hello and welcome to a PHP Basics tutorial on the if statement. The if statement is a PHP construct that checks to see if a clause is true. If it is, it performs a certain block of code. If it's not, you can either specify an else block of code for it to perform or um, have it continue on the rest of the page. Um, so, and if you are in order to use an if statement, oh, and an if statement isn't limited to only the PHP language. Um, most languages have if statements, so if you can program in another language and you're learning PHP after that, you've probably already encountered if statements and they work the same. Um, but let's continue. So, in order to use an if statement, you call the keyword if then a rounded brackets followed by an opening and closing of a code block which is designated by um, an opening and closing curly bracket. So the, so or the server processes this as if whatever is in here is true, perform this code. Um, so we're just going to have a really, really basic one to start. So we're going to say if 1 is equal to 1 echo 1 is equal to 1. And so how the server sees this is if 1 is equal to 1, we're going to perform in here, and all that it's performing in here is echoing 1 is equal to 1. If this does not return true, it will skip over this block and perform the rest of the code down here. Um, if it does perform true, it will perform this code and then it comes to the end of this code block and continues to perform down here. So we're just going to refresh this page and you see that we do get the 1 is equal to 1. However, if we change this to 1 does not equal 1, we will refresh this page. We don't get any output. That's because what has happened is it says if 1 does not equal 1, um, and we all know that 1 does equal 1, so this returns false, meaning that it skips over this block and performs the rest of the code, but there's nothing else to execute. Now, um, there is also ways to make this more complicated than just if. You can check um, multiple ifs. So, we can say if 1 does not equal to 1, else, and then you can check another if, if, um, so if we're going to say else if 1 is greater than 1, um, yeah, and so if we want, actually I'm going to change this to does not else echo 1 is greater than 1. You can have another one. These can go infinitely complex. So I'm going to have one more saying else if 1 is less than 1. Echo 1 is less than 1. And finally, I'm going to have a concluding statement, which is just the else. And I'll explain this in just a second. So I'm just going to echo. Um, one is none of the above if that is true. So what this is saying is if one does not equal one, so if this is true, perform this. Else, so otherwise, if this is true, we're going to perform this. Otherwise, if this is true, we're going to perform this. Otherwise, which means none of the above are true, we're going to, ah, sorry, perform this. So um, if as soon as one of these does return true, the block is done. Um, so then it would move on to the code down here. Assuming that none of these, this, this, or this return true, it's going to perform this, and then we'll perform down here. So um, if you see, or if we go and refresh this page, you'll see one is none of the above when it refreshes. So. That is because we check if 1 does not equal 1, 
that's false, so it skips over that. Else if 1 is greater than 1, which it is not, so it skips over that. Um, if it's less than 1, it skips over this, and we finally come to the end, and that is printed. Um, so let's just, here, we'll say if 1 is less than 2. Uh, and we refresh the page now, we get 1 is less than 1 because it checks this, false, false, this returns true, so it performs what's in here. Um, now these statements, if you can't tell, are really quite useful for performing checks with um, variables, because I mean, it doesn't have to be constants in there, you can define variable x is equal to 1. And you can replace all of these with x and x and x. Oh, sorry. And if we refresh now, we will get the same result because um, x has been put in the place as 1. So these statements um, you will come across a lot. They are the main way to check the logic of a code. Uh, and the other thing is it's not limited to one line of code within each. So for instance if I just space those down a bunch, um, which as we already know this is the block of code returning true. So if we refresh now we'll get 1 is less than 1, 1 is less than 1, 1 is less than 1, 1 is less than 1 because it's performing in here. Um, that's pretty much it for the if, else, if, else statement. Um, so just the easiest way to think about these is once you start getting them into very complex and you're having if statements within if statements within if statements, right? Um, the easiest way is to just read it out in plain English. Because uh, these statements, unlike lots of functions, read very nicely. So we're going to say if x does not equal 1, perform this code. Otherwise, if x is greater than 1, perform this code. Otherwise, if x is less than 2, perform this code. Otherwise, perform this. And then just remember that after your if statement has been closed, like your last part of it, or the last part of the else in this case, it will continue performing on the code or once one of these clauses matches to be true. Um, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you have any questions. Feel free to ask them. If you have requests for other tutorials, um, please feel free to post them. Check out my other videos. Um, thanks for watching.